Hello, in this video I will show you how to crack crack me 9 again and this time we are not going to use Lua, we are going to use assembly so and also other tips like how to properly allocate memory so let us now start chip engine and attach shit engine to crack me 9 first thing we need to do is to look for the memory address that stores whatever we key in here so the value type we will enter string and then now we type 2 click check and now go in here for the first scan and then we change this to 3 click check again and now we change it to 3 and then next scan and we got the memory address now just to confirm we will change this to 4 and click OK Okay, that means we got the wrong address. Change to 5. Okay, if we got the wrong address, no, we are no worries. We will try again. First scan 3. Let us remove this one. Now we put 4. repeat the same thing this time for 4 put it in the G table now we change this to 5 alright this time we got the right address next step is to right click and find what writes to this address right click find out what access this address click yes and now we will click on check One more time, just to confirm. To uncheck again. See which one is changing when you click on the button. This instruction, yes. This instruction keeps changing. That means this is the one we are interested in. Stop this, show in this assembler. Now we can close this. And now we have to find, we are in the system module, we have to locate the user module which makes use of this instruction. To do that, we will right click and set break and trace. Click OK. So now break and trace window is open. We are going to now trigger it. Click on check and it is break is here I it a breakpoint and finally completed the trace by showing the bad message window so this best message window was shown after the last instruction was executed so now we can go directly here by clicking on it and going back and see what's happening here and you can see this is where the bad message is showing and before that there's a jump and below here you see the good message and this jump did not happen that is why it went on straight and showed the bad message so in order to crack this software we need to convert this into a unconditional jump JMP so to do that we will select this line, this instruction, click on tools, and then auto assemble. We are going to create a script. Now we are going to use an AOB script. So we click on template and select AOB injection. And then click OK. Click OK again. So now over here, you will, you will scan this uh, series of bytes. 
because this this sequence of bytes are unique. It refers to seven four two two C seven four five and so on. It is unique. So it will scan for that, and once it finds it, it will allocate memory somewhere where there is a code cave. Code cave are uh, those blank empty spaces in the program, in the process memory, where we can inject additional code. So normally, the allocation function will do that for you. It will allocate some memory. But what we want is to allocate some memory which is near to this program, this process. We don't want it to be too far. So to ensure that it is close to this, we should add the name of the process and the back, and the back. Otherwise, it might as allocate some memory which is more than 2 gig away and that might pros cause problem with the jump. So this is how you avoid that kind of problems. Just add this as a third parameter. So now next thing to do is just convert this to JMP and then attach to assign to the current sheet table. Okay now we can take a look what happens when we you can close this now. Close this. And now we have a new script here. And we can call it. Jump script. If we don't activate the script. We click on this. We will see the bad message. Now if you activate the script. Notice what happens to the code. When we activate the script, when we activate the script, this thing changed to E9. Deactivate is 7422. Activate E9, A2, and so on. Alright, so now we activate it, and over here. Let's click on this and it's working. See that? It's working. Alright. The next thing you want to do is to go and write a trainer. So a trainer is a memory patcher that will patch this uh, program in memory without the need for cheat engine. So to create a trainer, we first have to, we can delete this now. We first have to create a uh, right click and set the hotkey. Create hotkey and then here I would like well, normally I like to use alternate one to enable the script. And then here just write a description, activate script, and then give it a sound, activate sound. Now click OK. Then repeat the same thing. This time we are going to create another hotkey to deactivate the script. I normally like to use alternate 2. And then alternate 2 select from here is to disable the script. <coughs> so down here you can say deactivate script. <coughs> and then the deactivate sound we select deactivate and click apply so we got it just to confirm the first one alternate one is to enable the script activate script and the hotkey is alternate one the second one alternate two is to disable the script and the hotkey is alternate two now click OK. Next we want to create the trainer. So we go to file. Click on generate generic trainer from table. And you open the trainer generator. Over here the process name make sure it's correct. If not you can select from here. Process name is this process. And here give a name. You can call it Crack me 
nine trainer or any other name you want and here you can see the trainer was made by who you can give your name uncheck this one we don't want the user to resize the window so this is what it looks like so here set the icon for it and go to your crack me folder crack me 9 and choose the icon you can download this from the internet by searching for icons click open click all right now click side image the side image is this image here this one I've chosen a doggy jpg file click open and here play sound on activate activate and then here uh, select the if you're happy with this you can click general trainer or you can do some more modification click on this okay so you can now maybe bring it lower increase the size for this one Okay, you can go here and change the size, the top, the height. Maybe I make it twenty five. It doesn't allow me to change. Alright, we just leave it for it as it is. Uh, and then click General Trainer. And then we will save it here. <coughs> click Mainline Trainer. Target is 32 bit. You want to change icon and click on this one. Select your icon and then click uh, generate. Alright, so it's successfully generated. Now, before you close, you need to save your form so you can go back to your form designer and click file save. This is in case you need to make changes to it later. So it says as a as in a dot frm format. Okay, now we can go and test our program. Make sure your Grammy Nine is running. Then launch your trainer. Alright, you see this? This is not, not visible. So you can modify this now. Let's go and modify. So open the file. Click generate trainer again. Click OK. And then over here, design user interface manually. So now over here, you want to load the form that you saved just now so that you can go here and increase the the height like this so that it's big enough 
Okay, now you can resave it again. And over here, uh, process name is the same. And then over here, change this one, made by whom, give you a name. Okay, this one no need to change. Play sound, yes. And then the rest is the same. Click generate. You can overwrite the previous one. Replace it. Set target to 32 bit. Icon no need to change. Click generate. Okay. Click OK. Now we go and test it. Go back to this, crack this, crack V9. Yes, now it's working. So if we just click on check, it shows the bad message. Now to activate the script, press alternate one. Alternate one, activated. Now we click on this, it shows the good message. To deactivate the script, press alternate 2 and the script is deactivated. Now you click on this, it goes back to the bad message. If you click on about, it says this trader made by you and you can close it. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and found it helpful, remember to like, subscribe and share. So that's all for now. I will see you in the next video.